Hello, my name is Leona Mijares, and in this video, we're going to review buyer invoicing. Let's dive in. First, let's review what happens after a private offer is accepted. After a private offer is accepted and the buyer purchases the offer, there are three key steps left in the process. Invoicing, disbursement, and reporting. In this video, we'll focus on invoicing. Specifically, we'll look at how and when buyers get invoiced and when buyers are expected to pay invoices. How and when does a buyer get invoiced? Once the buyer accepts the private offer, AWS sends invoices to the buyer's billing console based on the billing schedule agreed upon between ISV and buyer during contract negotiation. When it comes to billing schedules, the product and transaction type have an impact on when AWS bills buyers. For private and public offers, invoicing can occur immediately upon subscription. Only private offers have the option of a flexible payment schedule to delineate billing monthly, quarterly, annually, etc. Public offers can also be included with the AWS bill invoiced on the second or third of the month. For products with usage or metering, invoicing for public or private subscriptions gets rolled into the buyer's monthly AWS bill which is invoiced on the second or the third of the month. Here's an example of a private offer set up with a flexible payment schedule. The total contract value is $120,000 and the seller set up the payment to be invoiced monthly at $10,000 to the buyer. What is the buyer's experience? From the AWS Management Console, customers can view AWS Marketplace invoices. As a one-stop shop, buyers can raise invoicing issues by submitting a billing account support case through aws.com slash contact us or having a registered billing point of contact reach out directly to the buyer accounts assigned AR analyst. When is the buyer expected to pay their invoice? It's important to note that not all AWS user accounts are billed immediately upon subscription via credit card. Some established buyer accounts have set up terms with AWS wherein their accounts are invoiced and amounts owed are due within a set number of days following the issuance of the invoice. While credit card purchases are immediate, buyers on invoicing have standard payment terms of net 30, and some customers do get others such as 45, 60, etc. The invoice due date is determined off the payment terms agreed upon between buyer and AWS. To summarize, there are three key steps for vendors once a private offer is accepted. Invoicing, disbursement, and reporting. In this video, we discuss the invoicing process. You can check out our other videos related to disbursement and reporting, and also feel free to reach out via email to mpfinquiries at amazon.com. Thank you so much.